Hi everybody, and welcome to getting started with InstructBot tutorial video series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure InstructBot for Stream Elements. Please click the Options button and then navigate to Stream Elements in the tree. To connect to Stream Elements, please enable the Enabled Integration with Stream Elements toggle button. InstructBot can use Cheers from Twitch, Stream Elements, or Streamlabs to trigger commands. If you have multiple sources of Cheers enabled, then multiple triggers will be created for the same cheer. For example, one for each enabled source. For example, the Alt F4 command has a 1000 bit trigger. If cheer triggers is enabled for both stream elements and Twitch, when someone cheered 1000 bits, the Alt F4 command would be executed twice, once for stream elements and once for Twitch. So it is recommended that you only enable one cheer source. InstructBot can use tips from stream elements to trigger commands. For example, the Alt F4 command has a 10 pound donation trigger. If someone tipped 10 pounds through stream elements, the Alt F4 command would be executed. InstructBot can respond to testing events generated in the stream elements dashboard. Unless this is enabled, all cheer and donation testing events will be ignored. Otherwise, they will be treated as the same as any other cheer or donation. To use points to trigger commands, enable Use Points. When a viewer types a command trigger in chat, Stream Elements is queried to see if they have the required number of points, and if so, the command is executed. For example, the Reload command has a 100 point trigger and a reload identifier. A viewer could execute it by typing exclamation reload into the Twitch chat. This wraps up how to configure Stream Elements. If you'd like to learn more, please look at the other tutorial videos in this series. Visit our website or join our Discord. Links for both the Discord and website are in the description below.